Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to see an introduction about lag lead compensator. So a compensator is a device which is introduced in the network to have a desired output or to meet the desired specifications. There are three types of compensators and now we are going to discuss about lag lead compensator. So a compensator having the characteristics of lag lead network is called lag lead compensator. So what is mean by a lag network? We are giving an input. If the output lags with respect to input, then that is known as a lag network. Again, we are considering a lead network. In the lead network, we are giving an input sinusoidal wave. Whereas the output of the lead network will be leading the input by some angle. Right. That is known as lead network. Then what is mean by lag lead network? That is both the lag and lead will happen in the same network but in different frequency regions. Right. So in a lag lead network when sinusoidal signal is applied both phase lag and phase lead occurs in the output. We will be having both phase lag as well as phase lead but in different frequency regions right when they happen in the same frequency region they will cancel out each other right so this is known as lag lead network so phase lag occurs in low frequency region and lead occurs in high frequency region so when we are going to use this lag lead network you see if improvements in both transient and steady state response are desired if we need improvements in both the steady state as well as transient response then we are using a lag lead compensator right so rather than introducing both the lead and lag compensator as separate elements here it is economical to use a lag lead compensator right instead of using a separate lag compensator and a separate lead compensator here we are using a lag lead compensator it is found to be economical right then explain representation of lag lead compensator so this is our s plane right x axis stands for real terms and y axis stands for imaginary terms so here you see the transfer function of lag lead compensator we are having that is two individual functions right so first one you see s plus 1 by t1 divided by s plus 1 by beta t1 and here s plus 1 by t2 divided by s plus 1 by alpha t2 so here the first part is known as lag section and the second part is known as lead section so when you look at this s plane you see first consider our lag part you see here that is we all know right numerator terms are known as zeros and denominator terms are known as poles so when you look at the zero here we are having zero to the right hand side of zero i am having their respective pole right you see this is zero and this is pole so to the right hand side of this zero i am having the pole so this contributes the lag part and again here this is zero and this is pole right so to the left hand side of this zero we are having pole for the lead section okay that is the main difference and here you see the value of beta is always greater than one and here the alpha lies between zero and one the next one is realization of lag lead compensator using electrical network. So this is our diagram right EI of S is the input voltage and E0 of S is the output voltage. So now we are going to apply voltage division rule and we are going to calculate the value of output voltage right. So what is the basic voltage division rule you see just look at this diagram here we are having two resistors R1 and R2 and V is the input voltage V1 is the voltage across R1 and V2 is the voltage across R2 so if you want V1 what is the formula is what is the total input voltage it is V right so V multiplied by so V1 happens across R1 right therefore R1 divided by the total resistance is R1 plus R2 so V1 is equal to V into R1 divided by R1 plus R2 right so now we are going to apply this rule for this diagram 
right so here we want output voltage right that is e naught of s so this output voltage can be written as you see here e i of s is the input voltage that is you see here if you want v1 we are considering the whole voltage input voltage right similarly we know we want e naught of s so the input voltage is e i of s here and this e i of s happens across this region right so this region has r2 in series with this capacitance so r2 plus 1 by sc2 right r2 plus 1 by sc2 the whole part divided by total resistance here what is the total resistance here we are having r1 in parallel with 1 by sc1 and plus this r2 in series with 1 by sc2 right so the total resistance here is written as r1 parallel with 1 by sc1 plus r2 plus 1 by sc2 right so the next thing is we are rearranging so output voltage okay e naught of s by e i of s so i am moving this input voltage to the left hand side so e naught of s by e i of s is equal to here i am taking lcm right so r2 into sc2 plus 1 divided by sc2 and here you see we are having two elements in parallel so how will you simplify this uh, that is the basic formula is R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So in the place of R2 I am having this term. So just write R1 into 1 by SC1 whole divided by R1 plus 1 by SC1. Right. Plus again I am going to take LCM for this part and that is done here. Then the next thing is again we are just simplifying. Okay. That's it. So here you see. For this part, again I am taking LCM for this denominator term. So when you take LCM, we will be having expression like this, right? So in the denominator part, both the denominators are same. So they cancel out each other. And finally, we will be having an expression like this. So after simplification, we are having an expression like this. Again, the next step is I am going to take LCM for this denominator term. So when you take LCM, you see numerator remains as such and here in the denominator just we are going to um, take LCM that's it right. So R1 into SC2 plus this entire term gets multiplied by this term the whole divided by these two terms right. So again you see this SC2 is common so they cancel each other and again we are having expression like this right. Then the next step is here I am taking R2C2 outside so the remaining term is like this and again here I am taking R1C1 and the remaining term is that is S plus 1 by R1C1. Similarly here in, the, in this term I am taking R1C1 outside and here R2C2 outside right. Then we are going to divide both the numerator and denominator by R1C1 and R2C2. So here you see we are having R1 C1 R2 C2 we are going divide this numerator term this entire numerator term by this R1 C1 R2 C2 what happens this term this term and this denominator term will cancel am I making the concept clear you see now we are going to divide this part by R1 C1 and R2 C2 as well as this whole term by R1 C1 and R2 C2 right you see here i am having r1 c1 and here i am having r2 c2 so they cancel each other so the remaining terms will be only these terms right these two terms i had written here again when you look at this term so again we are going to cancel the common terms you see yes r1 c2 divided by this term what happens r1 c2 will be cancelled right so here r1 that is we are having plus term in between. So this denominator term is common for this term as well as for this term. Right. So since I am having less space just I am writing like this. This part is divided by R1 C1 and R2 C2. So what happens? R1 R1 and C2 C2 will cancel each other. So the remaining terms will be C1 R2. Right. So yes divided by C1 R2. I had written here. Right. Similarly, 
So here these two terms are in multiplication. Therefore, this denominator term no need to split. So when you cancel, what happens? R1, C1, here R1, C1 and here R2, C2, R2, C2 cancels each other. So the remaining terms are S plus 1 by R1, C1 and S plus 1 by R2, C2. Right. Am I making the things clear? Yes. Now we are going to solve the denominator. Right. So in this denominator, nothing. We are just going to multiply these two terms and we are going to simplify. Right. So this term you write here as such. And here when you multiply what happens you see S into S becomes S square. Right. And again S, S into 1 by R1 C1 gives S by R1 C1. Plus again S into 1 by R2 C2 gives S by R2 C2. Plus again when you multiply these two terms 1 by R1 C1 into R2 C2. Right. So here in these terms you see I am having an S square term. So here I am writing that S square as such. Right. And here I am having S commonly in these three terms. So I am taking S commonly outside and here I had written the remaining terms. And finally this constant right 1 by R1 C1 R2 C2. So the transfer function of lag lead compensator is given by this is the thing we had just seen right initially from the that is just we had written the pole 0 diagram and we had written the transfer function right. Wait I will show you. You see this is the transfer function of lag lead compensator we are again considering this basic formula right so here we are considering the formula right and the next thing is again here we are multiplying the denominator part so s into s gives s square and s into 1 by beta t1 becomes s by beta t1 and similarly I'm, i am multiplying this term with these terms i am having the terms like this right Again in the next part you see S square I had written S square as such and these two terms have S common so S is commonly taken outside and this is the remaining term and here we are having this term right. So the next thing is you see so so this is the basic formula I had modified like this right. And this E0 of S by E i of S we had already find out weight. So we are having this expression right and in this expression again we had simplified this denominator part like this. So here we are going to rewrite this denominator, this denominator part with these terms right. So here we are having expression modified expression like this right now we are going to compare these two expressions because these two are the transfer functions of lag lead network right both means the same so here when you compare what happens you see in the place of t1 we are having because these two terms are in multiplication okay i can write this term first and this term next nothing will change right so here in the place of T1, I am having R1, C1. In the place of T2, I am having R2, C2. Right? So, here it is written here. Then, the next thing is, you see, I am having here alpha, beta, T1, T2. And here I am having R1, R2, C1, C2. So, these two means the same. Right? So, here I am comparing, you see, alpha, beta, T1, T2 is equal to this R1, C1, R2, C2. Again, by simplifying, I am writing an expression for alpha, beta. So, alpha, beta is, I am moving this T1, T2 to the denominator part. So, this is our expression for alpha, beta. Right. Then, the next thing is, now we are considering these two terms. That is, coefficient of S in the denominator. So, just equate and write the terms over here. Right. And the next thing you see, again we are considering this expression. So, alpha beta is written like this. And you see here, R1, C1 can be written as T1, right? So, this R1, C1 is replaced by T1. Similarly, R2, C2 is replaced by T2. So, finally what happens? Both the terms cancel each other and finally the value of alpha beta is found to be 1, right? So, from the equation alpha beta equal to 1, right, a single lag lead network does not allow an independent choice of alpha and beta. 
this is nothing but here we need uh, what to say we are simplifying the expression in terms of beta that's it right you see here alpha beta is equal to 1 so from this we can write alpha as 1 by beta right so this is what we are going to done here so e naught of s by e i of s is given by again we are moving to the basic expression so the basic expression is so this is our basic expression part right so here i am going to replace this 1 by alpha as beta because you see alpha beta is equal to 1 so what becomes 1 by alpha when i move this alpha over here it will be equal to beta so here we are having an expression like this right 1 by alpha is replaced as beta here that's it so again the same T1 is R1 C1 and T2 is R2 C2 and I again here these denominator terms this denominator term now is equal to this 1 by beta T1 plus beta by T2 right so here comes the end of this derivation if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section thank you